Hi everyone, welcome back to the Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age Randomizer playthrough. So, as I kind of established in the um, license board uh, video, I'm going to go with the Bushi. For Vaughn. Because it has so many useful augments that we can make use of, so let's just do that. Ah, that's a quite the long-range auto attack, and we have a javelin. What does the javelin do? On hit doom, and I can get it with the bushi. So ah, since we also have some license points, so we might as well use some. Um, well, I'm not going to be fighting anything with guns or measures. So let's get ourselves closer to. That one and beautiful, the one and only beautiful quick hit. Amber armlet. Amlet. Armlet, yeah. Immune to bubble, search the deepest recesses of chest coffers and the like so, diamond armlet effect. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Just being able to kill things from a distance. Like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, and there's the downside of such a thing. So we just lost two abilities. Or two pieces of equipment, rather. Uh, I had a feeling that that was going to happen. <laughs> There's no way we could survive the Wild Saurian, so... Let's try not to hit him. Alright, we managed to get the Javelin. No armlet, so... We'll be without that for a bit. One gill. Wizard staff. On hit invisible. Hmm. I see more trouble with that. Thankfully, I have a Cura, but... That can only go for so long, till I need more. So before I decide to take out the Rogue Tomato, we're going to check out what's over here. There's a couple of coffers. A set of Majuan gear. Beam to Earth, 41 defense. I would love to be able to equip that, but we are Bushi, we can't. A winged helmet and 324 gill. This is why I came here, to see what's here. 14 magic resists. No immunities to anything. 17 gill. 17,368 gill and a suit of charger barding. What does this charger barding do? Is that a loot item? Oh, it is. Okay. I'm trying to remember what is what. Let's see. I know that there's more. I saw a short bow and some gill. Water elemental, though.
could have sworn that there's one more somewhere around here. Oh well, I think I got everything, so I'll just go back. And so, let's go kill some more stuff, get some more license points. What's here? A battle harness, so we're finding some nice, nice accessories. Except that isn't really so nice. Although, being able to cast magics using gill instead would actually be helpful at this point. Just because we don't exactly have a... Ooh, okay. As long as I don't hit the Saurian, we're good. The Gambit Ally MP greater than 90%. Oh, jeez. I was like wondering, like, wait, what ha What just happened? And apparently, I guess I hit the Rogue Tomato. Uh, poor Rogue Tomato was in range. And unfortunately, due to the damage, uh, or considering I hit him, I got launched up there, so we gotta go all the way back down. But let's kill this stuff up here. Ooh, that's some good range, seeing it hit that far. Wizard's Robes. Can I equip it, please? Defense plus 12. License is for everybody. Is anyone near my starting point? Or... Oh, it's all the way down here and I can't access it. Great. And there's our amber armlet again. So... Just to make sure I don't make the same mistake, just get the quick save. Just get the quick save. Because knowing me, I'm going to make the same mistake. But killing stuff first always a priority because levels and experience are always important. Hmm, yeah. sometimes. Proper strategy more so, but just because I don't want to fight anything. Or don't want to fight that. We have Countdown. Interesting. Ah, and a potion. Good. Potions are always helpful. You may have healed the full, but you're still dead. Well, with nothing else to do, let's head back. I'm not going to attempt to try to kill that thing, because I know I'm going to fail. Maybe... Ooh, Gambit Ally Bond. So, I'm not going to make the mistake of trying to fight the damn thing, so... Let's just go back inside the city and... Get to the next part of the game. Where we have access to... Uh, the Giza Plains. And then we're gonna get Pinello, and then we'll decide what to do from there. Fawn. Yep, that's me. So now a couple of shops have opened up. We now have access to the Technic Shop, the Magic Shop, and we also have access to two shops in Lowtown. So, first things first, we're gonna go check these two shops. We can buy potions for pretty cheap, actually. Also, let's go sell the goods that we picked up. So, sell the Imperial Souls, Cactus Fruit, Earthstone, which is going quite a lot. Ooh, these Charger Bardens. There's some money in there. Not much from everything else. In fact, that's actually pretty standard, I'd say. Uh, no bizarre stuff. 
again, the bizarre stuff has been randomized, so what I need to get certain things is uh, pretty much not simple. I do have a little cheat sheet for that if I need. I haven't used it, I haven't looked at it, and I will probably do so later on in the game. Probably. Same with the treasures. Ribbon improves chance to hit, absorbs lightning, weak to holy. We get blind, which costs 99 MP. Uh, Serpentarius and Firestone. Consider how cheap they are. Just to add them to the bizarre stuff. Because you never know, they could potentially actually unlock something. So, why not? So, with this done, let's head to the Sand Sea, where you will start off by getting a reward for the Rogue Tomato, which is also randomized. And we'll start the Thexterra hunt. 252 gil. Great. Let me see. Clan Primer for a sec. Alright, I'm still a Moppet. So, we aren't really going to be able to buy anything new from the Clan Provisionary. So, going to hold off on trying to do anything there. Instead, we're going to go directly down to Lowtown. We have two shops again that we can look at, so why don't we go do that? There are also some treasure coffers that we can look at, but from my experience, I haven't really gotten anything but gill from them. Let's see, we have the Adamant Vest. Good defense. Can't use it, though. Shepherd's Bolero. Everyone has access to that. Only 10 defense, and immune to bubble. And 6 magic resist on the head guard, which uh, is worse. So we're not going to bother with it. And that's all it has, so let's head to the previous, or next area. It's not exactly previous, and we haven't been there yet. Let's see. Healing Rod with an on-hit KO. For 227... Uh, Gil, I think I'll buy that. Time Bolts, on hit Petrify, I'll buy one. D Haste, remove haste from one foe. Okay. I'll buy it just to learn it. Having the money really helps. A pair of Berserker Bracers, so... Equip will put me to sleep and raise strength when character has full HP. Well, that means nothing if I'm asleep. Though I think having immunity to sleep might override that. Might. I forget how this game tracks all that. So, we'll talk to Old Man Dahl and he tells us, go to Giza Plains. So, we'll go to the old Giza Plains. We'll get Pinello, we'll check what the shop has, and we'll call it a video. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go have pancakes. Because it's... Uh, 9.40 in the morning, gonna have some breakfast, haven't eaten it, anything yet. And I'm just in the mood for pancakes. Alright, these are planes. Where I should probably be careful, because I could get murdered. Gambit, foe with lowest HP? I think I may need that one for later. Wait. Poison! A Jade Collar. Uh, we almost have our first quickening, actually. So, we got a Jade Collar. Slightly raises max HP. Would be useful if I could use it. Uh, what else have we got? Ah, uh, nothing else I can actually use, so... An 
Hurt Stone. God, this is so stupid broken. Kind of. I mean, just having a normal attack that hits everything. That is silly and stupid. Alright, so we need a sunstone, and to get a sunstone, we're gonna just, you know, do the bidding of this woman, which I'm okay with, because it'll get us something. So, arc scale. Ooh, hello. No reason to use anything else now, because that's a lot of power that we're gonna get. Arc scale has a ice element and on hit blind. Iron pole with on hit sap. Pretty expensive stuff too. Longbow, nothing special. Iron hammer, nothing special. Platinum dagger, on hit bubble. Yuck. On hit libra. Eh. Storm spear. This is actually better than my treaty blade, but I don't really have a class that can use it at the moment. So let's see. Adamant Hat raises strength when characters full HP. Steel Mask, immune to Exxon. Get some good magic resist if I can get one of these. A Genji Shield. With quite a lot of classes I can use it, but not a Bushi, surprisingly. Leather Helmet does nothing. Callet Hat, which is already equipped on to Vaughn. Makes me immune to... Oh, I didn't want to buy two. Or do that, but... Whatever, too late. Power armlet reduces MP cost by half while being immune to sleep. I think I'll buy two. Steel Poland's just two magic resist and one magic magic resist for the Nishijin belt. Chaos bombs on hit <laughs> regen, no. On hit mobilize with the black bolt, I'll take that. Stink bombs, ice element with on hit poison. Silent shot is on hit silence, ironically enough. Skate mode, deal damage and flick sap to all foes in range. Our ology. Voxka removes sounds from all allies in range, with a pretty cheap cost. Quakega deal heavy earth damage to one foe. I may want to consider getting some of these. Hmm, maybe not now. Up, oh. Waterstone, pretty, pretty good on money. And some other stuff. Okay. And I think I'll buy a map. They're pretty cheap, so might as well have it. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for this part. Uh, so tune in next time where we're going to explore mo more of the Esther Sand and possibly the Wester Sand, too. I'll see you then.